to a city of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin espoused to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in and said to her, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. What manner of salutation is this? What do you want? Why have you come to see me? Fear not, Mary, for you have found grace with God. Behold, you shall conceive in your womb and shall bring forth a son. You shall call him Emmanuel. He shall be great and shall be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of David his father, and shall reign in the house of Jacob forever. In his kingdom there shall be no end. How shall this be done? Because I know not man. The Holy Spirit shall come upon you, and the power of the Most High shall overshadow you. Therefore, also the Holy One, who shall be born of you, shall be called the Son of God. Behold your cousin Elizabeth. She also has conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month with her that is called barren, because no word shall be impossible with God. Behold, the hand made to the Lord, be it done to me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. Whereupon Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing publicly to expose her, was minded to put her away privately. But while he thought on his day, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in his sleep. Joseph, son of David, fear not to take unto you Mary your wife. For that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit, and she shall bring forth a son. You shall call him Emmanuel, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which the Lord spoke by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel which being interpreted is God with us. And Joseph, rising up from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him, and took unto him his wife. Mary, rising up in those days, went into the hill country with haste into a city of Judah. She entered into the house of Zachary and saluted Elizabeth. And it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary, the infant leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit, and she cried out with a loud voice. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And whence is this to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For behold, as soon as the, salut as the voice of your salutation sounded in my ears, the infant in my womb leap for joy. And blessed are you that have believed, because those things shall be accomplished that were spoken to you by the Lord. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. He looks on his servants in her loudliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the loudly. He fills the hungry with good things and sends the rich away empty. He protects, protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Mary arrived with her about three months, and she returned to her own house. And it came to pass that in those days there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be enrolled. This enrolling was first made by Cyrus, the governor of Syria, and all went to be enrolled, everyone into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem.
that he was at the house and family of David to be enrolled with Mary, his spouse's wife, who was with child. And it came to pass that when they were there, her days were accomplished, that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, wrapped him up in his swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, for there was no room for them in the inn. They were in the same country, shepherds watching, keeping the night watches over the flock. Behold, an angel of the Lord stood by them, and the brightness of God shone upon about them. They feared a great fear. Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy that shall be to all the people. For this day is born to you a Savior, who is Christ the Lord in the city of David. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and laid in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly army, praising God and saying, And it came to pass, after the angels departed from them into heaven, the shepherd said one to another, Let us go over to Bethlehem, and let, let us see this what has come to pass, which the Lord has showed to us. And they came in with haste, and they found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. And seeing they understood of the word that had been spoken to them concerning this child, all that heard, wandering at those things told by, by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these words, pondering them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they have heard and seen, as it was told unto them. When Jesus therefore was born in Bethlehem of Judah in the days of King Herod, behold, there came wise men from the east of, to Jerusalem. And King Herod, hearing this, was troubled, and all of Jerusalem with him. He assembled together all the chief priests and the scribes of the people. Where shall Christ be born? In Bethlehem of Judah, for so it is written by the prophet, and you, Bethlehem, the land of Judah, are not the least among the princes of Judah. For out of you shall come forth the captain that shall rule my people of Judah. Then Hiram, privately calling the wise men, learned diligently of them the time of the star which appeared to them. Going to Bethlehem, go into thy gently, inquire after the child. And when you have found him, bring me word of him that I also might come to adore him. Who having heard the king, the wise men went their way, and behold, the star which they had seen in the east went before them, until they came and stood over where their child was. And seeing the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. And entering into the house, they found the child with Mary his mother, and falling down, they adored him, and opened their treasures. Turn to Herod. Soon they went back another way into their country. Everyone there that night glorified and praised God for sending a Savior. The Bible tells us that God sent His Son Jesus because He loves us, and that if we believe Jesus saves us from our sins, that we will be saved. Yes, we can reconcile back to a holy and righteous God. That's good news.
Vamos a dar un fuerte aplauso. Great job, great job. It was great, beautiful. As I said earlier, the movie that we show, it began in the church, right? Doing what you were doing. Who knows if sometime you'll be performing for a movie, right? So thank you, great job, thank you, God bless you. Thank you.